Hello everyone, this is Kenneth Bruni from Cambrotech and welcome back to the channel. So in this series of videos, you are learning Python and this is specifically SNG 207 Programming for Engineers, a course taught at the University of Ghana. So if you have been following along, we have this structure we have put together and starting from the very first chapter we have over here, this has been put together like the chapters of a book. So currently we are on the last chapter where we are going to look at extra. So basically these are some of the few loopholes i would want to fill up as we are building our knowledge in python so in this particular video we are going to look at two main things and this video is going to be in two parts so this is the first part now in the first part we are going to look at exception handling then there's one important concept we need to look at which is environment variables and then finally we are going to look at virtual environments in python now let me just say this environment variables are not the same as virtual environments and for environment variables i have this video i'll leave the link in the description below where i have how to use environment variables to hide password and secret data so i'll leave this link below so coming back to exceptions now let's say we are writing a program and our program catches an error definitely our code is going to break and our code breaking can be catastrophic depending on how it breaks so let me just collapse this and let's see a typical example so let's say i have a variable called name and i'm assigning the value kenneth to name over here so if i'm to come in here and now try and print out name this you already know it is definitely going to print the value being stored over here in my terminal so I'm going to run this. I'll click on this button. And here we have Kenneth printed out over here. Now, let's assume I would want to print age. Clearly, we get a warning over here. You see this yellow underlining. Now, when I hover my mouse around this, it tells me age or the variable age over here is not defined. But then let me just go ahead and run this. And clearly, we get a name error and it says the name age is not defined so whichever name we have over here is not defined all right so now let's see how we can work our way around this and not necessarily printing out this error and that's where we use the exception handling technique to work our way around this so let me just clear this so before so instead of just running age this way And we get the same error what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a try block over here so i'll use the keyword try and i'll bring in a colon and whenever we have anything with a colon then this is creating a block so we need to indent whatever thing we have over here so i'm trying to say that try running this code and later i'm going to walk you through the processes but then let's look at this i'll save this and now when i run this we get another error we say syntax error so these errors are very important the first one we got was a name error and this time around we are getting a syntax error and it says expected except or finally block so clearly python was able to understand what we were trying to do we were trying to run this code and the way this works is whenever we use try it needs to be accompanied with an except or finally block so now let's come to the other aspect so i'm going to say except and this is what is going to be executed if this code tries running and there's a problem then this accept block comes in so accept and i'm going to just type in or having print and i'm having error so i'll save this and now when i run this we do get error printed out over here our code does not necessarily break now if i'm to come in here and declare the variable age and say nine now when i run this we get nine printed out over here so basically the whole point is try running this code but then if you don't see this variable then you run this accept block where we have an error over here so over here let me make this a little bit descriptive i'm going to say error and i'm going to say variable not defined this way so now when i run this we get nine because the variable is defined but now if i'm to clear this off and run this our code doesn't break 
okay it runs and you see there's an error over here variable not defined so this looking good so this is one typical use case of we using the accept or the try and accept to handle exceptions now let's look at another practical one okay so working with the more practical use case is let's say we have two numbers okay so i'm declaring a variable called number one and number one is going to take this as an input so i'm going to say number one this way and let me just um, typecast this into an int this we already know because the input function will by default take whatever thing you input as a string so we are typecasting and changing whatever number we type over here into an int so i'll do this and now duplicate this change this to two and also change the variable name to two over here and what i want to do is i would want to perform a simple calculation so let me say i have a variable called result and result is now going to be equal to number one divided by number two over here and this is where we may run into errors but then this is a very good exercise for us to visualize and understand some of these things so now i'm going to print out and i'm going to put this up in a formatted string so i'm going to say division and i'm just going to pass in the result over here in this placeholder so now i'm going to run this i've saved this and when i run this i i get the prompt to enter number one so when i type in 10 and say number two i put in three over here i get my division 3.3333335 over here so this is looking good now let's run this once again my number one i'm putting in 10 over here and for my number two this is where i would want us to anticipate some of the things i put in zero over here so basically i'm saying 10 divided by zero and as engineers we know that this is not feasible it's not possible so now when i run this our code breaks and we get an error over here says so zero division error division by zero so clearly we get a sense of what is happening and this is not going to be a good thing for our code so what we can do is we can put in um, an exception handling to handle this so i'm going to put in try over here and once i have this try block i need to indent this then i'm going to say um, accept because we already know from that previous example and what i can do over here is i can come back and come and copy the particular error so over here i want to be more specific so accept a zero division error what i would want to do is i would want to print out for instance and i'll say error okay and i'll say cannot uh, for instance divide by zero so this is looking good but then this is not going to um work out yet let me just shrink this a little bit so now let's see when i save this and run this so first number or number one i type in 10 using same examples if i'm to do three we don't have any problem the division is possible now when i run this code again type in 10 and now put in zero when i run this now we get a name error it says the results is not defined this results we are trying to assess over here so basically it was able to bypass this zero division because we had this exception over here but then this results variable we have over here because it is under the try block it is not a global variable okay it is not accessible anywhere within our code it is only accessible within this try block so one of the ways we can handle this is to do an import over here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to import sys so sys is a module within the standard library just like print or any other function that we have been using so we have sys imported over here and now what i can do is after running this and if this there's a zero division error i would want to print out my zero division error and now i would want to come here and do sys which i've already imported dot and there's a method in there called exit so when i pass in six dot exit i'll then need to pass in a status code as one so now for those of you coming from or who have a little bit of c plus um, plus programming background this is almost like we writing our code and inside of our main function 
before everything we say return zero so return zero means like nothing or everything is okay and for which reason run our code and in this case we are saying says dot exit one that means if indeed we come to this point and we are unable to evaluate this expression because there's a zero division error after catching this use it you just exit so i'll save this and now when i run this let's go back to our examples let's use 10 and now let's use 3 everything is working perfectly we get our division value over here now let's run this again and let's use 0 a hey, sorry 10 for number 1 and now 0 and now we get this error cannot divide by 0 so that's exactly what we are printing over here so basically our code does not break as it used to and now we are using the try and accept to handle our exceptions over here now there's also the finally block remember what i showed you earlier on and we can also bring finally so for the finally let me see i'm going to type in something like um food executed executed successfully I don't know if the spelling of successfully is right over here but then let's move on so now this finally block is going to execute whether there was an exception that was cached or not so this by default what is going to execute whether there was an error or not so now when i run this and for instance if i'm to come in here and do a 10 and a 3 in this case there's not going to be any error so we do expect to see the division happening and now you can see that the code executed successfully so this finally block will be executed whether or not there was an error so and we see that the division is what we have over here now let's run this again and let's do a 10 and a 0 and now when i press enter we do get the error over here it says cannot divide by 0 because we are indeed dividing by 0 and the finally block is still executing over here that code executed successfully so these are some of the things you can do with the exception handling now there are quite a number of them in fact there are a lot more errors so normally you'd want to debug right if there's an error then you try putting out these um, try accept handlers to handle your errors for you so this is going to be the end of this video now if i'm valuing the content i'm putting out over here Kindly support my work by subscribing to the Cambro Tech channel. Also, don't forget to hit on the notification button so that anytime I release a video, you'll be duly notified. Share this video with friends and family who find this content very useful. At Cambro Tech, we say learn programming. You can do it. Bye-bye and catch you in the next video.